in this video the definitive schematic of the oscilloscope. Uh, it was a project uh, during the past months and when you follow have followed my channel you will surely have seen how all these things developed. The horizontal amplifier, the time base generator, I also had to make a sine wave generator. It got defective when uh, I was working on that oscilloscope, etc. etc. So, uh, the final schematics. And this is what the scope is doing at the moment. Uh, it is amplifying, amplifying a, a signal of approximately uh, 34 kilohertz. This is, by the way, the um, uh, the other scope. It's connected to the same electrodes. This is my classical old school electrode, sorry, uh, oscilloscope that you have seen in all my other uh, videos. Anyway, so this is what is visible now at the moment, and we are looking at approximately 34 kilohertz. I had not expected that the scope could go so high but uh, well it worked that way and the idea is by the way that this scope only can go to approximately 22 kilohertz and I will show the schematics in this video so here some say effects that you can see when you work with that scope there is, say here, a horizontal drive potentiometer, and I will show the schematic. Um, that um, uh, horizontal drive potentiometer has this effect. Uh, does it have an effect on the frequency? Well, I don't know. Anyway, uh, at least you can say set uh, and better study the waveforms. That's one effect of this scope. And here we have, of course, all the classical uh, potentiometers that you find on every scope. For instance, here the frequency, input level, uh, horizontal move, vertical move. Uh, perhaps I can show that vertical move it moves up and down and here the horizontal move that that's all completely logical perhaps interesting to tell that I uh, could not get the horizontal dot uh, move properly out of the screen here and out of the screen here so that we have here say a kind of fierce dot but uh, that doesn't matter that's my opinion anyway uh, you can see here a very tiny line and that is the that line is caused by the fact that the uh, time based generator doesn't have a blanking so uh, when you uh, send in uh, at the end of the moment where the dot moves from the, this part to this part of the screen and at this point here when you give the uh, first grid in the cathode ray tube a negative voltage it will blank out this tiny line here but I didn't do that uh, it was too complicated and it doesn't hinder. So let's look perhaps at first to, well this is not a frequency, perhaps interesting to show. 
here is that frequency potential meter anyway I want to go to the schematics because I only have say approximately 15 minutes on my camera well uh, this is how the cathode ray tube was connected. I made a mistake in the first video of this series of this project. And well, the most important thing was that the horizontal and the vertical plates uh, have to be swapped. When you look at my earlier videos about this project. The scope project but anyway this is okay this schematic is completely okay uh, of the DG732 tube cathode ray tube perhaps this is a, a good idea to flip the schematic a little bit perhaps when you want to make a screen dump etc etc that's about the tube and now we are again on the same tube uh, schematic B it's the same tube and here you can see the how the horizontal um, potentiometer works the horizontal move potentiometer works and how the vertical move potentiometer works and you can see it here vertical movement this is that potentiometer horizontal movement and also important to tell that you can drive there's a horizontal drive potentiometer here you can drive that and it has an effect on how the waveform is showed on the screen anyway that's in the perhaps next schematic well yes it's in the next schematic this is the definitive schematic where everything is showed I hope it's visible from this distance here is the horizontal amplifier perhaps interesting to tell it's uh, simply a Darlington made with two uh, MGE3005 uh, bipolar transistors they drive the horizontal plate so it goes to C and here I've made all kinds of indications D C A B and that corresponds to the places to the electrodes of the uh, the CRT so this is A this is B A must be connected here B must be be connected here D here goes to this place this location C go, goes to this location etc etc and I, I have uh, made by purpose uh, in all the schematics say a ground and the ground it is I've indicated it as zero and zero is because it's the mass but on the other hand it's perhaps important to tell that the anode voltage 760 16 volts uh, the positive anode voltage out of the uh, this power supply here are the connections by the way this is the mains there are a few mains transformers here uh, the positive uh, that's the anode of the CRT is connected to the ground to the zero that's important and furthermore well uh, 
I have explained these two uh, dot movement potentiometers. They have of course to be connected in a DC way. And furthermore, um, there is the vertical amplifier. I will show it when my camera uh, doesn't give up within five minutes or so. This is by the way the front and I've connected uh, the electrodes of the plates via a, a 0.47 microfarad 400 volt capacitor because I also wanted to do more experiments uh, without this uh, setup. Say that there, there is a way to connect the plates to other AC sources. Time basis here, uh, main transformer here by the way, main transformer here to give the tube its 760 volts, main transformer here to give the plates uh, approximately 340 volts, a main transformer here to uh, make the vertical amplifier uh, effective so that it gives out a 50 volts approximately to the plates here to the plates vertical amplifier of course drives the plates the vertical plates um, here's the time base it drives the uh, horizontal amplifier and and this simple time base working on approximately 12 volt is able to drive the high voltage horizontal amplifier via a resistor of 10k and a potentiometer of 1k. And I have demonstrated that that's the horizontal level potentiometer. Uh, well, let's go before my camera runs out to the uh, vertical amplifier, schematic is here. And that vertical amplifier has a pre-amplifier. I had to do that to, to, to say make the whole oscilloscope more sensitive so that it could work on approximately one volt input. And that is the reason that I made this vertical amplifier. It drives, of course, the plates, the vertical plates. And this is the pre-amplifier that's used. And that pre-amplifier is connected to the input of the scope. So this is the input of the scope. It's now connected out of this sine wave generator here to the input that's here. And now we see this on the scope. Again on a 34 kilohertz. Let's go to a somewhat uh, lower frequency, 15 kilohertz. And let's look on how the scope works. Well, it works quite good. Again, here this tiny line caused by the sawtooth generator uh, when it falls back to zero input level you can lift it up and that's one of say the strange not strange but things of the scope uh, you have to adapt have to be say uh, critical about the input level because when the pre-amplifier is overdriven 
you get this waveform for instance and that's bad so you have to be say carefully adapt have to carefully adapt the input level and the driver level of the horizontal amplifier and the trigger level here now it's no not triggered and now the trigger is too fierce that also has an effect but you have to search here with that potentiometer here the trigger level trigger level and of course the frequency is key when you want to study waveforms uh, you have to say find the right frequency on the time base where it all works nice say it's a scope and on the same time you can learn a lot uh, uh, when you have to say ad adapt align this scope to the signal that you want to study anyway thanks for watching i hope it was a little bit clear and interesting 15 kilohertz this on my other scope connected to the same uh, uh, output electrodes of the sine wave generator that's here and here what my home brew scope brings and of course you can set here the sharpness the focus etc etc